Zips Basketball with John Gross, presented by Wentz Financial Group, is brought to you by Summa Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn, proud to be the host hotel of Zips Basketball. By your Akron Canton Bryan Heating and Cooling Dealers. The Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15 layer lasagna. And Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another week of University of Akron basketball with head coach John Gross, brought to you as always by the Wentz Financial Group. Well, we hope you're making plans to be at Rhodes Arena this coming Friday night. It'll be Akron and Kent State. Hope to fill up the uh, Rhodes Arena as we welcome back the Zips after a road trip to Buffalo. And coach, we came so close last week to winning two games, a great win at Bowling Green and a near miss overtime loss to Miami. Yeah, no question, Joe. I thought that uh, it's the best week we've had yeah. collectively and, you know, maybe the entire season. Right. I mean, the way we played the last five games, the way that we've practiced the last two to three weeks, you know, I, I'm really proud of the guys. We've made a lot of progress and started to get a lot of traction in a lot of different areas. You know, unfortunately, yesterday didn't bounce our way. Yeah. But to be honest with you, there's very little difference with four minutes to go in the Bowling Green State game, the Kent State game that we played at Kent and yesterday's You're Miami exactly right. game at yeah. home. They're, we're up four at the at around four minutes in all three games. And uh, we were able to close out one of the three. Uh, very easily could have closed out with a rebound or a yeah. free throw make two of the three. Or maybe if you get fortunate, three of the three. But, you know, three or four weeks ago, you and I wouldn't have been having that You're type right. of conversation because we weren't ready to be in those situations consistently. We've shown that over the last – five games and you can see it developing and happening in practice our chemistry exactly. our attitudes our effort all those things we've been talking about all year have really been on point and uh, so I'm really proud of where we're at right now we still can get better here down the stretch but uh, give a lot of credit to our players for their grit and their ability to stay with it throughout the season. Now the fans only see the games. They watch them or listen to them. You see these guys every day in practice. So you saw this happening a little bit each game, that they were getting a little bit better. No question. Uh, and a lot of it, like I said, was how we practiced. Just our overall, how connected we yeah. are. Guys have gotten used to playing with each other. They're accepting and embracing roles. Uh, they've been very coachable. And, um, you know, that's allowed us to improve. And then they've worked very hard. And yeah. then I think the change in practice of what we've done, taking one, sometimes two days off a week, shortening the practices. You know, as we talked about there off the air, we had three right. guys yesterday against Miami play between 40 and 45 exactly. minutes. Yeah. So we've got to be smart about that. And I think we've done a better job of that. That's given them more energy and physical effort that they've been able to give forth uh, day in, day out. And, um, you know, we're really at this point, I feel like, playing the best basketball yeah. that we've played all year. Exactly. Well, the Zips were rewarded with all that hard work of the big win at Bowling Green this past Tuesday night. Let's go back up to the Stroh Center and watch the highlights brought to you as always by Summa Health Systems. Malcolm getting off to a good start. Always plays hard for you, Coach. Yeah, he does, and especially right now. He's a senior. That, you know, that hourglass is sifting for him. He's embracing every game, every practice, every moment. And he's given us everything he has, as all the guys have done here re recently. Um, in this particular game, our offense was really clicking, Joe. You know, we get to 81 points uh, in the game. I thought Utomi was terrific. We got contributions from off our bench. Here you see Lucas Smith making a three. Uh, Badabo made a three, yeah. you know, we really got and, and had no turnovers in nine minutes at the point. So we had contributions. Patton played with toughness. Yeah. Parrish made some plays. Kostelak has figured out how to play hard and physical by fouling less and thus giving us more minutes where we can have him on the court. You put all those things together, you know, it's led to some good basketball. Ivy had big plays late, none bigger than the game winner yeah. and then the, uh, the block shot. Uh, that was a big play there late in that game at Bowling Green. Uh, you told me comes up with 29 points. I remember talking to him after the game up at Bowling Green, Coach, and it seems like when he takes it to the basket early and shows that he can dribble drive with that penetration, that opens up that jump shot because they got to back off him a little bit. No question. We put him in more of those positions here lately. We did in the Miami game this week as well as the Bowling Green game. Here you see a clip of him driving yeah. the ball. He's reading the game better, right, Joe. You exactly. know, it's a long closeout. He drives it. But guys coming at him 
without much discipline, he drives it. If he's open on a catch and shoot, he shoots it. You know, in the Bowling Green game, he had five assists. There you see one of them there on the cut to Parrish. So he's reading the game and playing the game the right way. Malcolm DeVille, only a sophomore coach. How much better can this kid get? Can get a lot better. Obviously, we're getting uh, a lot of traction out of him right now. He's playing a lot of minutes. And the interesting thing about Dan is really for this back half of the season, as you know, Joe, he's played out of position. You're right. You know, and he's had to do that because of the injuries on our roster. Um, hasn't said boo. I mean, just does what we ask him to do and, and whatever he needs to do to help the team. You know, that's what he does. And, you know, obviously I think he has big upside and a high ceiling uh, as a youngster, as you mentioned. A lot of teams starting a game plan against him, and he's still scoring on them. He is. And obviously both games this week, yeah. you know, we went to him both in the post, on the perimeter, dribble drive situations. He's got a very versatile game. And I thought defensively this week he played – Uh, harder than he's played more consistently and again he's playing out of position so a lot of his minutes throughout the course of a game are against bigger stronger heavier taller players exactly the zips get a big road win 81 to 79 at uh, bowling green we're going to take a break when we come back we're going to meet uh mr malcolm de vivier he joined the 1000 point club we'll meet malcolm right after this The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client's situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. I imagine everyone to be my mother, my father. Truly give of yourself, to give of your heart. I just treat them like I would want to be treated. To feel like they're a welcome guest of ours. Being genuine uh, by showing compassion for others. By going above and beyond. You're not just there as a provider, but there to help them on a personal level. With every patient, every day, Suma Health delivers personal, life-changing care. Well, his name is Malcolm de Vivier, and uh, unfortunately, Zip's only have him for one year. We caught up with Malcolm after he joined the 1000 Point Club. Hi, I'm Malcolm de Vivier from Toronto, Ontario. I'm a grad transfer from Oregon State University, and I'm a point guard for Akron Zips. So, you know, I played three years of basketball at Oregon State University, scoring, you know, 623 points throughout my career there. And then I came here, you know, in this season, I'm having, you know, one of my career seasons. I scored uh, 404 points, points so far. And I think um, to co- compare and contrast the two is just, you know, at Oregon State, I, um, I think here I'm just having a great year because of just the opportunity and, the, you know, the belief in the, and the, the, the belief from the teammates and my coaches that they have in me. It's just really... And the hard, and just a lot of the hard work I put in throughout the years is really starting to pay off now. You know, I've been, I've been and seen it all, and <laughs> pretty much in this college basketball game. So, so now you know I go into games with a different mindset than I did as as compared to when I was a sophomore or a junior. My experience has been uh, a good one. You know, I've learned a lot this season. Like if you could ask my teammates just, just, and my coaches just how much I've grown from the first day I stepped on campus till now. So, you know, it's been an up and down season where, where, you know, the wins haven't been coming as much as we wanted them to. But I think it's a point of growing as a person and growing as a basketball player. I feel like I've learned, I've learned and I've grown way more than I have in any other year. So, you know, just, just having, you know, career high years is just, I think that's just a cater to just having the, you know, Coach Gross and our coaching staff and my teammates, just how much they believe in me and they believe in my game. And, you know, they trusted me to go out there and make plays and, um, you know, just be the leader on the team that we need. So I think that's just a cater to, you know, all the, the trust and belief that they give me. You know, it really just feeds to my confidence and is able, makes me able to go out there and just play the best basketball I could play. You know, scoring 27 points, you know, in a, in a big rivalry game. That's just, um, you know, I played in a big rivalry game before, you know, at, or- at Oregon State versus Oregon, one of the oldest rivalries. So, you know, I've had, I felt that atmosphere. I've known exactly how it feels to be and play against, you know, your rivals and just that energy that everyone has. You know, you feel that animosity in the gym, you, you know, and that's just something I, I used to feed off me to have that energy. And I just felt like, you know, I just was, 
it was a game I wanted so bad, so I just was leaving it all on the floor and trying to make plays for my team and just doing whatever it takes to try to get that win. Even though we fell short, you know, I tried, I was just, I, I, I have no regrets because I know I left it all on the floor. To be able to go out there and perform the way I did, it, um, it's big, it's big time, you know, especially against a rivalry. Those are games that usually, you know, where big players step up. So I just, it was one of those games where, you know, I knew I had to step up and I just, I kind of had it in the back of my mind, you know, I wanted to get get that thousandth point, but I wasn't trying to, you know, wasn't trying to like, you know, like be stuck on it. So I just kind of cleared my mind at the beginning of the game. I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna play this game with a clear heart and a clear mind, and you know, things just start to you know, the game. Once the flow of the game just comes, you just, you know, you just ride the flow and just keep going, and then, you know, the baskets start going in. You start making plays, getting other people involved, and then things just start opening up for you. I tell you, Malcolm is a uh, great team player and a great example, I think, to the young kids how hard you have to play at the Division One level. No question. <laughs> I've always said this about him after coaching him, even after a month of practice. It became very obvious to me from an effort standpoint uh, that he was always going to be on point. Right. And then his ability to play two sides of the yeah, ball, so exactly. to speak. Yeah. He could really defend. As you saw yesterday, he made Ringo's life miserable. Right. That was an interesting. They were trying to make each other's life sure, miserable. Sure. And then at the other end, he can play offense. So he's a two-way player. You know, there's not – you would think there's a ton of two-way players. There's not. Um, and so he's able to really impact the game at a high level at both ends of the floor. He's one of our hardest workers. He's in yeah. the gym all the time getting extra shots up. He's in taking care of his body, showing guys how to do the right things yeah. there. He's been a great addition for us. Had to do it over again. I'd do it in a heartbeat. Yeah. And, and uh, we're very blessed to have had him for this one year. He's been fun to uh, watch play. I know the fans, University of Akron fans, have enjoyed watching Malcolm play as one year here at the University of Akron. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll watch highlights from Saturday's loss to Miami right after this. At the Wentz Financial Group, listening to clients, understanding their needs, evaluating their risk tolerance, and finding solutions to help them meet their goals is our ultimate responsibility. Because at the end of the day, we treat every client like their family and manage every dollar like it's ours. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Our strength is our legacy. Boundless innovation, fueled by our tradition. At the University of Akron, our path forward is here and now. Every day, we push ourselves to do what others want. Akron raises champions. Akron nurtures genius. Because just when you think we're finished, we're just getting started. That's what makes us the University of Akron. Well, some losses are tougher than others, and the ones uh, like yesterday when the Zips got knocked off Miami, Coach, those are the hard ones to take. Those yeah, are they're, some they're, sleepless nights. They huh? are. You know, they're difficult because of how much we put into it from an effort standpoint, meaning the players. You know, we led for 41-plus minutes. Exactly. So that's what makes it difficult. To be quite honest with you, you know, our guys deserve to win the game. We outplayed them the majority of the yeah. game. We just – the very end, I uh, thought we ran a little bit out of, out of, out of gas a yeah. little bit with some of our older guys that we played too many minutes. I've got to find a way to help them get more blows or longer blows. You know, that's on me. Um, I thought that our blockouts were poor late in the yeah. game. That cost us a couple times. We didn't shoot it particularly great. We had some looks in the second half from our shooters that we just didn't make. And then our offensive scheme, you know, we've got to be a little bit better at watching the tape. You know, I think I can help them a little bit more there, so I'll take some responsibility there. But all in all, defensively, our best performance, yeah. start to finish, uh, we're really starting to defend with a purpose and starting to play more with a purpose. You know, we've just got to find a way to close out. You know, we want to close out more than one out of three yeah. of those situations that we've been in. Can we get two of those three? Or if you're a really, really good team, can you get all three of them? Yeah. You know, so... That's the next step for us, but we put ourselves in position for that to be the next step by the fact that we've improved so much, you know. So I'm, I'm thrilled with that. We just got to find a way to get over, uh, get over that hump. Let's go back to Rhodes Arena this past Saturday and watch highlights from that tough loss to the Miami Redhawks brought to you by Summa Health Systems. Mark Kostelak, a little 
put back in El Utomi with another outstanding game. Yeah, we played really well offensively and defensively in the first half. We shot over 50 from two, or overall, I should say, uh, over 40 from three. Uh, our only issue in the first half was turnovers. We had 10 at the half, but we played really well at both ends. Second half, defensively, we were terrific again. Uh, our rebounding hurt us in the second half. Second chance points came into play. I thought that was a real difference in the game. And then offensively, we just weren't real sharp. And give Miami credit, they're very disruptive, especially Ringo and Sabande and Coleman Lands. They get into the ball. Um, and there's some things that we can do differently maybe to help our guys a little bit, haven't watched it. But at the end of the day, we had opportunities to make some plays, a free throw, get a rebound. If we do those things, and we got a chance to close it out at the end of regulation, and we just didn't get it done. Game went into overtime, Coach, and we jumped out 57-51. Going back to the end of regulation, we're up by 15 points in that first half and going down the stretch. You know, mentally, how tough is it after you've led that entire game to take that into overtime then? Well, I thought our guys' response was great. Yeah. You know, that's a great question. You know, the game gets sent to overtime and the tip in by Ringo. Yeah. But we scored the first six points exactly. and looked really sharp. They then go on a 10 nothing run. You know, Jack called a timeout. They executed their ATO on the slob on the sideline out of bounds play. That was a big basket. Then we don't score. Coleman Lands makes a big three, and now all of a sudden it's game on again. Right. Uh, but, you know, we, we had our chances. Our guys know that. You know, we had our chances. We played well. We just did not get the outcome that we wanted. Um, but we got to continue to pl emphasize honoring that process of playing well because that puts you in position to win games like yesterday. I don't think the players wanted to win a game more than they did against Miami. They were really ready to go. Yeah, obviously the games have gotten a little chippy. Exactly. Uh, both games yeah. have. And, and uh, you know, that'll be uh, – they've got some young guys. Obviously we got the three guys sitting out and a lot of guys returning. And uh, should be a good series of games between them be, uh, uh, moving forward. Exactly. Should be a good rivalry in the upcoming years. Right now it's time for Who Stock is Rising, brought to you each week by the Wentz Financial Group. Eric Parrish continues to play well for you offensively, Coach. Had a good game uh, against Miami. He did. He made some plays this week, uh, really in both games. Um, getting on the glass. Yesterday he was a double figures and did it in a very efficient way. Thought he made less mistakes defensively in the second game this past week than he did the first game. So he got made some improvement there. Um, and obviously, he's a huge key for us. You know, we yep. brought him off the bench yesterday. Anytime you can bring a guy off the bench that can give you that type of spark and, and give you production that mirrors starters, yep. that's a big thing for your team. And that's what Eric did against Miami. You know, there's guys that can jump and there's guys that are quick jumpers. He gets off his feet in a hurry. He does, and he's got really big hands, so he has that ability to finish around the basket with his left and right hand. There's times where we need him to be a little bit stronger yeah. physically with some of those finishes where you know we lose out on some points. But he was much better with that yesterday, yes. and uh, I think he's you know improving and you know getting better. Biggest key for him is continuing to become a better defender. Exactly. We're going to take a break, come back, and announce our Player of the Week right after this. Sir Jeremy, you are a true friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Yeah, dilly dilly. Madam Susan, you are an even truer friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Yeah, dilly dilly. What is that? This is a spiced honey mead wine that I have really been into lately. Please follow Sir Brad. He's going to give you a private tour of the pit of misery. I'm sorry, what? Pit of misery. Dilly dilly. Yeah, dilly, dilly. dilly. Here's to the friends you can always count on. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family warm this winter, here, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant. Whatever it takes. It takes Jodway Heating and Cooling to keep your home comfortable this winter. Find us at jodwayheatcool.com. Well, no surprise on our player of the week at sophomore Daniel Utomi. A great week average, 26 and a half points a game against Miami and also against Bowling Green coach. We talked a lot about him already today, but boy, this kid is special. He is. He's doing a lot of things for us. I think his strength is just his versatility. You know, and once he gets the opportunity, Joe, to get back to being, you know, a wing, a 3 4 4 yeah. 3 guy, I think you'll see even um, more strides that he will make. He sacrificed quite a bit due to our injuries to play out of position, but he's affecting the game rebounding, defending, 
uh, assist at Bowling Green. He had five, making guys better. Scores in mid-range, uh, getting to the rim a little bit more, as you mentioned earlier in the show. And obviously, we all know about his three-point shooting yeah. prowess. So he's very, very versatile, does a lot of things for us, has big upside, and I think has really developed into one of the better players in our league. I agree. He's a tough guy to defend right now because of everything he can do. No doubt. And he causes problems. Obviously, he's physically strong where he can score inside, but he also has perimeter game in addition to that. And uh, I just like his demeanor. Dan's one of those guys that is yeah. an extra guy. He's in the gym as much or more than anyone on our team on his own outside of what we give him. So he's earning everything. Everything that's coming his way has been earned. Exactly. Uh, there's, no, no one's given him anything. So, you know, we love, uh, love Dan and what he represents. He does a great job as a student. He's a really good person and teammate, and uh, he's a, obviously a big part of not only now, but our future. For sure. Congratulations to Daniel Utomi. Now it's time to put somebody on the hot seat, brought to you each week by Brian Heating and Cooling. It's a walk-on. Cena Badabal. Let's meet him right now on the hot seat. Go back in time or back to the future? To the future. Neat Freak or Clutterbug? Neat Freak. Who thinks they have the best singing voice on the team? Mark Lowe. Picky eater or try anything? Super picky. Teammate most likely to lose to Zippy in a race? Uh, pass. Worst dressed teammate? Rashawn. Who on your team has the best taste in music? Me. Better place to visit, the beach or the mountains? Beach. Could you make a three-point shot with a medicine ball? Yeah. Favorite sport drink flavor? Lemon lime. In your opinion, who is the GOAT? Clay Thompson. Who is your celebrity crush? Pass. Hardest workout activity? Bench press. Instagram or Snapchat? Snapchat. Netflix or Hulu? Netflix. Comedy or horror? Comedy. Favorite basketball movie? Rebound. Who has the best dance moves on the team? No one. No one. No I'll one, man. I'll tell you we must what, have Coach. no rhythm on our team. Exactly. He's another walk-on that's giving you a few quality minutes uh, now and then. Oh, is he ever. And was yeah. huge and instrumental in our win at Bowling Green. Yeah. You know, he, he makes the big three. He plays nine minutes, has zero turnovers, uh, made very few defensive mistakes, thought he was defensively sharp, you know, during the nine minutes that he played. And if he doesn't play those quality minutes, we don't win the game. Yeah. So. He was huge. Uh, that was a game where we got great contributions from our bench, and obviously he was a big part of that. Exactly. Two more big games coming up this week, Tuesday night at Buffalo, then Friday night at home against Kent State. Hope to see you there. We're coming back at Scotty Report with both those teams right after this. I trust them. I've trusted them with my life. I, I don't know if I would be here today without all of their help and their support. <laughs> they were, they were out of this world fabulous. They treated me like I was a guest more than a patient. The caregivers really are the true rock stars, aren't they? Every patient deserves and should have the care that I'm getting at soon. I'm cancer free because of them. With every patient, every day, Suma Health delivers personal, life-changing care. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Well, the Zips head up to Buffalo Tuesday night to take on the Bulls and back home Friday night for a big game against Kent State. Coach, let's talk about Buffalo first. I know you feel, a lot of people feel, they've got the most talent in the league. Yeah, they've had a great year. <clears throat> Obviously, they're older. They've got experienced players. And then the addition of Wes Clark yes. at the break, I thought, took them to another level. Massenberg is a terrific shooter and defender. Jordan's a great defender. I think what makes them unique is their ability. They have more guys, in my opinion, or as many guys as any team in the league that can really guard right. the ball. Jordan, Massenburg, Clark, they caused the yeah. type of havoc that you saw Ringo and Sabande create yesterday against our offense. So we've got to do a better job schematically helping our players take care of the basketball. We weren't great at that in game one here against Buffalo. And, uh, you know, we'll have to do a good job of that, certainly when we go to Buffalo. 
about 30 seconds, Coach. Uh, got your first taste of that Akron Kent rivalry a couple weeks ago. Now they've got to come to our place Friday night. We're open for a big crowd to help us win that. Yeah, one. we are. Obviously, Kent was able to get a great yeah. crowd in there, and we certainly don't want them to outdo <laughs> us. Uh, but uh, great environment at their place. Yeah. Great game to be a part of. But, you know, sports staff, staff, players, we enjoyed it. We'll uh, look forward to the battle in round two, but we've got Buffalo first. There you go. Buffalo on Tuesday night, uh, Kent State on Friday night. Hope to see you at Rhodes Arena Friday night for the uh, regular season finale for head coach John Gross. My name's Joe Dunn. We'll be back here next week with more University of Akron basketball. Have a great week, everybody, and always remember, go Zips. Zips Basketball with John Gross, presented by Wentz Financial Group, was brought to you by Summa Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn, proud to be the host hotel of Zips Basketball. By your Akron Canton Bryan Heating and Cooling Dealers. The Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15-layer lasagna. And Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime.